Hi and welcome back to my channel. Christian here. Tonight I'm making an all-time favorite, Japanese pork katsu curry. Let's get started, shall we? But before we do, we're gonna take a sh shot of that sake. Mmm. Itself, you're gonna need one egg, some flour for dredging, two boneless pork cutlets, some panko breadcrumbs. For the curry roux, some fresh garlic, potatoes, one onion, a half a tomato, one carrot, salt and pepper, chili powder, six tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of garam masala, two tablespoons of curry powder, and then six tablespoons of butter. Let's get started, shall we? First, you're going to take six tablespoons of butter and get that out. Next, you're gonna take your flour, dump it right in. Let's see how the curry powder. The masala. I think it's a great time to take another shot of that sake. Mmm! Once the curry, the flour, and the garam masala is heated up and mixed evenly, you'll want to let it roast for about five minutes on low heat. In the meantime, I'm going to prep the other ingredients to go. Now that it's been about five minutes, all right, I'm getting everything ready. And the key to this recipe is you just add things as it becomes ready. All right, so first it's the onions. Stir to coat it. Two cloves of garlic. Three if they're small pieces. Right in also. Give that a stir. And you want to coat this. Tomato. these in big chunks. Add some chili powder. Once everything's in, coat it with the curry, a little salt, some pepper. That looks 
good. We're gonna turn the heat up. Normally you can use water, but tonight I'm using beef broth with water. So you'll need one can of beef broth. Again, you can use water or all water. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and let it boil for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, while that's boiling, we're gonna get the pork cutlet ready for frying. But next, we're gonna prepare the pork cutlets. But before we do, we're gonna take another shot of that sauce. Mm. Take your pork cutlets, get some cellophane. Put it over the pork cutlets, get the mallet, and you're gonna flatten it. Nice yep. and flat. Do a piece of shell stuck in there, just remove it, and then a whisk. Add a little water. And whisk it until it's a nice, even, homogenous, uh, light cream color. That's good. Dust it with flour first. Egg wash. And panko. You want to have your oil on medium to medium high. And then you'll fry the pork cutlets for about six minutes total, or until golden brown. Looks like the oil is ready. You can test it just by dropping. There we go. I'm gonna slowly drop the pork top in. Six minutes. On the timer. Once you finish frying up both pork cutlets, you're then going to want to cut it up into small bite-sized pieces, serve it over the curry itself, and some rice. Additionally, I like to garnish it with some pickled ginger. Hope, I, folks, I hope you enjoyed this dish tonight. Be sure to like and subscribe somewhere down here. And of course, don't forget to take a shot of that sake. Mmm!